What's up, family? It's Professor T, and I'm back with some more reacting to new music from Undiscovered Musicians. And this is the final day of Women's Appreciation Month. Woohoo! So, we're finishing it out strong. We're going to check out Taylor Lynn alone. And, uh,. An artist that she's got my same namesake but spelled different with Taylor with an ER. So that's cool, I guess. You know what I'm saying? That's that's different. And she is a 21 year old country pop singer slash songwriter from Canada. Canada, eh? She has that in her bio. I didn't put that part in. Shout out to Canada right across the bridge from where I'm at. I love Canada. Good stuff up there. So. We're going to check out our song alone. I like this song because of the message. So that's why I picked this one out. So we're going to put this song on and um, we'll see what I think about it. And without any further ado, let's check out Taylor Lynn's Alone. I sat at a party in MCT. Hold up, my screen is freaking out. My mouse. You know that I'm not one to get messed up. I like it. Pretty boy Paco would like this song, man. I should have had him on this as with my co-host. That's my keyboard player. Shout out to Pretty Boy Paco, my keyboard player from the Professor T and the Funk Academy. Yo, big pause on that lyric. Am I allowed to say that? Too late. This is like um this is pretty big sounding right here. This is totally uh like um it's, it sounds big, like it sounds like something that could be on the radio already. Okay. Cool. Is there like a country scene in Canada? Like, not in, not in terms of like, is, do people listen to country? But I mean, like, in Canada, is there like a place where they do country music? I've never actually thought about it before. Because you always like a, a, a you always associate it um, country music with the southeastern United States. I'm curious. This is a good mix too. We got the bass nice and present. You can hear the acoustic guitar and the piano in there. That's really all that's going on in the instrumental, so it's very simple. I think she does a really great job. Okay, I like it. You know what? The only thing, well, I watched this like lyric video though. Why did she choose that particular photo of herself? Is there an artistic reason for that? Because like, to be honest, I don't feel like that's the most possible, the most flattering photo possible. I wonder if that's like artistically to the song. I like it though. So the drum sound there, this is like a drum machine drum sound if you listen closely. It's like an 808. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like an 808 snare mixed with an 808 clap. That's kind of what the drum sound is. The song is cool though. Like it's, it's a pretty song, so you know what? I don't. I think this might be the best like ballad that I've reviewed thus far, because I haven't done many like slower songs. This is definitely the best one that I've done thus far in this series. Little fade out ending. That's cool. 
Any stuff after the ending? Nope. Okay. Cool. Good job, Taylor. With the E. I like that. Taylor with the E at the end. I like it. So. I thought so this song. I thought this was really, really well done. I thought it was cool. I can. I like the fact that there was a bio that always is super helpful. Hot tip for anybody watching. Always have a bio. It's always a good idea. Uh, have a bio because first off if you put just the type of music that you do and, and where you're from and the city that you're from that can help you with discovery on youtube too because a lot of times if you're new like for me for example i put in new york jazz and then when people search for that they're gonna see me so the same thing with this she had in what type of music that she does and where she's from so that was perfect so that's just a hot tip for you guys. It also, it's helpful for me when I do this series because it shines some light on me. So I can hear the country pop um, influence. I absolutely heard that. I thought that was awesome. I think that the singing was really pretty. Really well executed. And also the instrumental was good. For critiques. This one is hard for me to even find the critique. The critiques are always for learning purposes. This is an educational channel. And... Uh, I feel so embarrassed because in the background you can see that like I didn't neatly fold my uh, quilt that's on the top of my bed. Oh well. It's like 10 o'clock at night while I'm doing these. I'm probably about to go hop back in it. So <laughs> back to the song. So my critiques if I were to give any. I really don't have any to tell you the truth. Because I, I there's not much that I can comment that would improve on it. Partly because I'm kind of ignorant to that particular style and tone of music that's not really it this isn't really like a genre i personally have experience in making i don't think i've ever worked with anybody that did a sound like this um yeah i, I can't think of anybody that I worked with that to sound like that so I, I can't really critique the mix or anything like that and also like the singing was really well done so also something i want to address real quick because this one it does break the rules of this series it has more than a thousand views and she already has somewhat of a following. But for Women's Appreciation Month, I wanted to make sure I gave her a shout out. Because I think that she's doing a great job. And in the grand scheme of things, you know, if she's got 3,400 views or whatever instead of 1,000, that still is not enough attention that she deserves. So, now it's time to go to my favorite part of the video. This is the last one time I'm going to get to say it tonight. We're going to go to Professor T. Then we're going to see where his ranks. So let's go ahead and see where I'm going to put this one. So I like this song a lot, really. Um, So it's going to probably rank pretty well. It definitely moves up past the bottom of the pack. For how this made me feel, it's in here. Um, I would actually put it even a little higher than number 18. I think where I would go with it. How it made me feel is up here in this range. So, but who do I think that this has to bump down for this? Uh, I'm going to go with putting it at number 11. I think I'm going to bump down Forest. So, so reminders of what those songs are. When I walked in the club, that was part of Friends and Family Week. And that one right there, that was kind of a club song, obviously. It was like an electronic dance song. And then... It goes right above Forest, chapter 14. That was another, excuse me, that was another Canadian rock band, like an indie rock band from Toronto, I think. I'm pretty sure they were from Toronto. I just remember they were somewhere in Canada. I'm pretty sure it was Toronto. And it just bumped them down. It's kind of funny how that worked out. It always, like, there's some connection between who it bumps down. <laughs> They're both Canadian uh, artists. But yeah, this song... It was very well done. I really enjoyed it. And as I always say, the Billboard chart is not a reflection of the quality of the song. It is a reflection of popularity and how I would recommend this to people at the end of the year. So, we reveal the top 10 since she got so darn close to it. She's just outside the top 10 sitting at number 11. Nobody's upset Geek and Taylor Jones yet. They're cheating because they're sandbagging. Geek and Taylor Jones, even though that video had less than a thousand views and they're not that known, both of those people are signed and they've been doing music professionally forever. Jay Pickett, loving you. Kajera, I don't mind. Draco, extra freestyle. Henrik, stressed out. 
All those people are kind of big, a lot of them. Motika, The Water, Personal Blend, Hearts Don't Lie, Folk Hills, Jason Alessi, and Lanai still hold the top 10 spots. You were super close though, Taylor, and these, this chart, it moves around as the year continues. So you might make it a little bit higher at the end of the year if, you know, I hear some other stuff or if listening to this or letting it soak in more, it moves itself up higher. So with all that being said, to Taylor Lynn, to all of you watching at home, love what you do. I enjoyed listening to this song. I hope that all of you did too. And I share nothing but peace and love to all of you. And I'll see you in the next review.